Sixth grade, module two, lesson five, classwork. Opening exercise. Tape diagram. Eight ninths divided by two ninths. So it wants us to draw a tape diagram representing this problem. So I'm going to show eight ninths. Make it look a little more even. I'll shade in eight of them. Oops, I need another one. Okay, so there's eight ninths, and I'm going to split it into groups of two ninths. So there's one group of two ninths, two groups of two ninths, three groups of three ninths and four groups of two ninths. So this would be equal to four. Now the next one, it wants us to use a number line. So Molly's friend Xavier also has 11 eighths cups of strawberries. He needs three fourths cups of strawberries to make a batch of tarts. How many batches can he make? Draw a model to support your solution. So I'm gonna draw a number line. And I'll have zero. Put one here and two here, and then I'm going to split it into eighths. And we have eleven eighths. So here's one eighth, two eighths, three eighths, four eighths, five eighths, six eighths, seven eighths. 1. So this would be 1 and 1 eighth or 9 eighths, 10 eighths, 11 eighths. So here's 11 eighths. And we need to split it into 3 fourths cup of strawberries. Now this doesn't have a common denominator, but I'm going to take 3 fourths and make it into eighths. If I do that, 3 times 2 is 6. We're going to split it into six groups of 6 eighths. So I'll start, there's one group of six eighths. And then if I do another, one, two, three, four, five, six. Remember my 11 eighths stopped right there. So I have one, two, three, four, five out of six. So we get one and five sixths. What were we talking about? How many batch, batches of strawberries? Or batches of tarts? Example one, one half divided by one eighth. Step one, decide on an interpretation. So maybe you talked about this in class, but we're gonna use the measurement interpretation. versus partitive, which we'll talk about uh, next lesson. So draw a model. I'm going to use a tape diagram. So we have one half divided by one eighth. But remember, we need to find a common denominator. So let's list the multiples for two and eight. So I already found eight. We can leave one eighth alone, but I need to change one half into eighths. Four eighths. So I'm going to split this into eighths. And I will shade in, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, that's only seven. I'm going to shade in four eighths. And now I'm dividing it by one eighth. So there's one group of one eighth two groups, three groups, four groups. So we get it's equal to four. So step three, find the answer, it's equal to four. And then it wants us to choose a unit. So we're working up to building our own word problem. So I'm gonna say pounds. And then set up a situation based upon the model. So it wants us to write a word problem for 
1 half divided by 1 eighth. So we're and so since I chose pounds, I need to think of something that is would be measured in pounds, maybe like flour. So I'm going to say that Sarah has half a pound of flour. And we need to somehow divide that by one eighth. So let's say a batch of muffins takes an eighth a pound of flour. How many batches of muffins could Sarah make? So the answer would be, we already found the answer, four batches. Exercise one, using the same dividend and divisor, work with a partner to create your own story problem. You may use the same unit, but your situation must be unique. You could try another unit such as ounces, yards, or miles if you prefer. So we're using the same one half divided by one eighth, but we need to come up with a different problem for that. So this time I'm gonna use, let's use miles. And when I think about miles, I think about running, so maybe uh, you have a your track team, so let's say our middle school track team is running a relay race. You can say the race is half a mile long. And each runner runs one eighth of a mile. So, how many runners will we need? So, again, one half divided by one eighth, we already found the answer is equal to four, so we would need four different runners for that relay race. Example two, step one, decide on an interpretation. So again, we're sticking with the measurement interpretation. Draw a diagram for three fourths divided by one half. So first of all, it doesn't have a common denominator, so I'm gonna list the multiples for 4 and 2. And we can just use 4. So I can leave 3 fourths alone, and 1 half is equal to times 2 times 2, 2 fourths. So we have 3 fourths divided by 2 fourths. Now I'm going to split it into groups of two-fourths. So there's one, two, but this has one out of the two shaded, so it would be equal to one and a half. Step three, find the answer. It was equal to one and a half. Choose a unit. So I'm going to choose feet. I'll and set up a situation based on the model. So remember we had one half divided by three, or three fourths divided by one half. Yep. So since we're talking in feet, um, let's do something with like a wire. You need to cut that. 
electricians work with wires, so let's say an electrician has three-fourths foot of wire. He needs to cut it into half foot pieces. How many pieces will he have? So we know that our answer is equal to one and a half, right? So he can cut one and a half pieces, but really our answer would just be one because he could only cut one half a piece because the other half wouldn't be a full piece. Using the same dividend and advisor, work with a partner to create your own story problem. You may use the same unit, but your situation must use, be unique. You can try another unit such as cups, yards, or miles if you prefer. So again, we're working with three fourths divided by one half and we need to come up with a different situation. So this time, let's go back to food, maybe use cups. So we might need three fourths cups of, I don't know, pumpkin? Maybe we're making a pumpkin pie. Let's go with that. So we have three fourths cups of pumpkin. It takes half a cup to make one pumpkin pie. How many pies could we make? So again, we would get that we could make one and a half pies, but really you could just make one pie with the amount of pumpkin that you have.